So if you use Notion as a central workspace or a second brain to capture ideas and inspiration, you need to know about this. I've just discovered a brilliant tool to supercharge how you capture web content directly into your Notion workspace. And I'm not talking about the Notion web clipper. In this video, I'll show you what it is, how it works, and my favorite use cases for it. I mean, how didn't I know about this before? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Simon and on Better Creating, I'm collecting great ideas and tools to help you lead your best productive and creative life. And if you use Notion or specifically one of my Notion life management templates, this is one of them. If you haven't heard of it, Save to Notion is an advanced Notion web clipper offered as a free Chrome browser extension that does so much more than the standard Notion web clipper many of us are used to using. It must be the recent addition of that Notion API that's made this possible. Save to Notion allows you to create custom forms with the extension to auto-populate specific databases. Now this is a game changer for how we capture and organize web content uh, that we want to save into our Notion second brains, as Tiago Forte calls them. In my Life OS templates, it's called a knowledge bank, a place to organize all the things you read, watch, and listen to in one place. And in fact, if you don't do this, you should try it. Um, knowledge capture can change your life. So here's how Save to Notion works and how I'm using it. First of all, just search Save to Notion Chrome extension in the Chrome browser and install it. From there, connect your Notion workspace and you're ready to get started. Notion's existing Chrome web clipper simply allows you to do two things. Set a title for the clipping and where you want to send it, so a database. But Save to Notion will allow you to create custom forms that in turn help you directly edit any column that is in that database from the Chrome browser. So for example, I've created a knowledge bank form that has the status pre-populated and a set of entries that I can make so I don't have to do it later on. To set up a new capture form, you click on add database and pick where you want to send information to. Mine is my knowledge bank where I capture information. If you click the box clip page content, it means that anything on that website will turn up in the main page of the database entry. I want that because it's where I'm capturing this information. You can click on the field button down here and add any column that is in that database. So I have a subject category uh, tag list um, and a set status uh, tag list in my database for things like if it's a live reference, if I'm currently consuming it. But you might want to leave these empty if you want to fill them in. Um, or like this, I could set it to be pre-formatted because say most things are gonna be put on my reading list for later. And here I have a relation which links to my wider system and there's a link to content projects because I expect most of the things I capture on this form will be for these videos. So I can select what I want to select and then immediately populate the knowledge bank entry, removing a ton of admin that I used to have to do later on down the line. So as a result, it's giving me more time to review and reflect on the ideas that I captured when I go back to them. Good productivity tools do just this. They remove the friction and reduce the actions we have to work through in order to do something. Since recording this video, I've also discovered this amazing thing. If you press control, click, and then add highlight, you can highlight and save directly to Notion. If I open a Notion on a page that I've already added, it will then drop it in to your notes. Unbelievable. I've also decided because of this new tool that I'm gonna add a quick summary column to that database. And that means that I can add a two or three line summary of the clipping that I'm making. That is because I think that summarizing uh, quotes or references in your own words is a great practice to get into if you want to make more of the information you capture. I wish I'd done this earlier, to be honest, with things like books uh, that I've already read. This one deserves a like from you Notion fans out there, surely. Let me know as well in the comments what you think below. It will really help the channel out. The Clipper is particularly effective for capturing things like YouTube videos into a Notion database. It also seems to add an icon image, great for visual organisation, and it's my new favourite way to do this. Perhaps the most interesting feature though of Save to Notion extension is the ability to select a specific template page that you have created in the database that you're sending something to. Uh, like this, you could create a separate template for YouTube videos or web articles, including, for example, a note-taking section, pre-formatted tags, or just a set of icons or emojis to help visually sort material. What's more, I can see this as being a great tool to create linked custom Notion templates 
with forms in the extension for specific tasks. One of which I'm excited to try is saving emails into your Notion workspace. And do you know what? This is just the beginning. Save to Notion has become a key part of my integrated and automated wider system that I've been developing to capture and consume content in Notion. Make sure to come back for my next video where I'll be sharing something really exciting. It's how I've combined Notion with a set of automated apps like Readwise, uh, Air.io, Kindle, and others to build the ultimate knowledge capture system for your Notion second brain or LifeOS template. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't, turn on the notifications, and I will see you there. You really don't want to miss this one. Well, check out my Notion templates via the link in the description if you haven't already. And you should watch this video next for more inspiration on organising your life in Notion effectively. I'll see you on the next one. 